Hi, this is Chef Remy. Today we're going to make ground beef stroganoff. It's a pretty simple, basic dish that will feed the whole family, very economical. And I'm going to show you step by step because it does have a few steps. Now, in another video, we had used these cuts of meat to make beef stroganoff, but today we're going to use ground chuck. As you know, ground chuck has 20% fat, and that's what makes it taste pretty good. Now, we have mushrooms, sliced mushrooms, fresh, but we can also use canned mushrooms if we drain them, some flour, some beef broth, sour cream, egg noodles, or you could cook up some rice, onion and garlic, salt and pepper of course, and two tablespoons of ketchup. Now let's start prepping some of the items. By the way, we didn't need the butter, that was for another recipe. Okay, we take a quarter cup of flour and a third cup of broth and we put it in a jar like this, close the lid real tight, and give it a shake and we can set that aside because we're going to use that to thicken our sauce. Now here's a half a cup of onions that we're prepping and a couple of cloves of garlic and we're setting things in bowls getting it ready. Now we're going to make a mixture in that bowl you see there with salt, garlic, one cup of broth and two tablespoons of ketchup. We give it a stir, stir up the the mixture and set it aside also. Now here we have mushrooms ready to go, three cups. We could have used these but of course you want to drain them real well. and we also set aside a cup of sour cream. You can use plain yogurt also if you like. Now let's get our noodles ready to go. We, have, we salt the water, bring it to a boil, and here I'm using about eight ounces of egg noodle. And if you follow the package instructions, it's probably going to be about eight to ten minutes. So you want to time that have it ready to go in a bowl like this, covered, keep it warm. Now you, it would be good to have a nice big skillet like this so it makes it easy for you, don't spill anything. And of course we have a pound of chuck ready to go. There's our mixtures, our different mixtures and our onion and the mushrooms all set to go. Now we heat up the skillet and we're only going to brown the, the ground chuck. We're only going to brown it. Here we go. Now when it loses its pink color like this, then we go to the next step, is to drain the fat. We want to get rid of that and then spread it out into the skillet like so and here's our mixture of broth, salt, garlic and ketchup. Now this is going to simmer once you get it boiling you turn the heat down and you cover it and let it simmer for about 10 minutes and that's going to build up another layer of taste. Very, very nice. Okay, so after about 10 minutes, we're going to add our onions and our mushrooms. So you mix that up real well. Bring that to a boil again. Turn the heat down. Cover it and let that simmer for five minutes only. Doesn't take long for those mushrooms. And of course, 
the onions get nice and soft and tender. All right, here we go another step. This is where we're going to thicken the sauce. So we're turning our heat back up again and we're going to swirl this around really good and watch it get nice and thick. Now, you want to get rid of that floury taste, so again, we're going to turn the heat down, cover it, and let that simmer for a few minutes. Now, I put the videocook.com, my website, there for you. Uh, hopefully, you might come over and visit us. I do have hundreds, literally hundreds of videos that I've made Chinese food, French, Italian, Spanish, all categorized very nicely. Seafood, salads, sauces. Come on over and visit me over there. Alright, next step. Let that flour taste go away. And the next step, of course, is we're going to put sour cream in there. Now you notice you don't see me very much. I try to keep these videos short. I don't have music. No fanfare. I think that's best. The whole idea is to learn how to make these basic dishes. Here comes the sour cream. Now remember the sour cream is cold. So what we want to do is mix it up in there really good cover it up again and let it get hot make it hot and that's the last step okay here we go maybe a little pepper there's things you could have put in there like like maybe marsala wine maybe think about that if you wanna make this your own recipe you can make changes like that I'm gonna put myself a nice plate on the table it's a rainy night and I thought maybe I could have ground beef stroganoff there you have it well thanks so much for coming over and looking at my videos I hope you learned this one it does have a lot of steps but I try to make it as simple as possible thanks for watching this is Chef Remy and if you get a chance, come on over and look at my website. Bye-bye.